Okay, today, just looking at chess calculation. So the movements of the pieces, we're calculating what is going to give us the better opportunity and position on the board. In some cases, it's as how quickly can you get the king in a checkmate. And that's not really our remit. It's only if the opponent allows us that. If it's there and it's available, then we'll go for it. But majority of the games, the opportunities aren't given. But it's been able to see when it's available to really go for the, the king and go for the checkmate. Other than that, it's about balancing out your opening moves, your first initial moves, just to work your pieces together, support your pieces, slowly but surely manage key squares, key pieces, and just really kind of just take time in developing. So we're slowly developing our bishop out, key reason, going for the castling. But if we have a look when we castle, if we get castled, all our other remaining pieces are on the other side of the board. So in my head, as you will probably already know, I'll be calculating how can I get my pieces to give my king some company. So this first maneuver here is bringing my bishop sex way through to the queen, but it's also potentially then going to at least give my king some company around my king area. Next piece is the knight, it's stuck over here, so potentially looking to see if we can get it to give our king some company. But it all depends on what the opponent plays as to whether or not we go and give the king company. Because as we've mentioned uh, in bygone eras, and the king may go, don't waste your time coming to save me when there's a golden opportunity to take advantage in the game. So we've got to be mindful of that. They've brought their bishop back. So they've moved that piece twice. But, you know, it doesn't really mean a lot unless, of course, you can do something about it. Our main thing is trying to get the knight off the back. There's no main threats at the minute. I think the knight is going to be looking to take the pawn. So we're bringing the knight to defend. So we can take this pawn off the board. Knee jerk reaction is just to go for simple and let's just capture. Does bring his double pawn back in line, but that's fine. It's no problems. So we could bring the bishop here maybe looking to try and give our king a bit of company we're already angling for the knight coming here first looking to see if there's any major attacks i already know there's no major attacks on this side you could bring the bishop here protecting the b pawn that might be a good a good goer but it's on the other side of the board and it really is by itself and then these pawns don't really get operating do they because the bishop's stuck in front of them so I'm going to go off with simple potatoes and just bring the bishop here. It is targeting the pawn next to the king, so that's a plus. But we'd have to get things supporting that attack if it was going to be anything meaty. Right, so it's always for the B pawn, remember? So we might as well push this pawn up, because they are going to be in the bishop anyway. Oh, we're not getting the bishop trapped, are we? Can't really go here because they've got their bishop. Could still bring it here and then look to attack their bishop. It's just we're not getting our rooks into the game. So they're spending time pushing pawns, not developing pieces. And maybe that might be a plus, but they hit us. We have to move anyway. Try and do a preemptive type thing. Could swing here, but there's nothing protecting it. So this is where my brain's going, well, you're overthinking this situation, dude. Just make a move. And I will make a move. And we'll just bring the rook here. So that's calculation. Calculation is a thought process of trying to find a good move or a safe move. And there's no guarantees you're going to find anything. We could attack the pawn now, but the knight really wanted to sit here. We attack this pawn because it's x-raying through to the rook. Yeah, so then the b pawn has to move. So the knight's currently protecting that.
<sighs> so we could do that just to give them something to think about. But the queen and the knight are protecting the pawn anyway. Is it going to be a wasted move? Bishop could come here and attack the rook that has just gone there. Probably go for a bishop exchange. I think we'll do that attack because this bishop is causing a lot of confusion. And it's blocking key, key files and key squares. So that's calculation, what we were just doing there. Yeah, so the bishop's going, let's get rid of this bishop. It's just one of those annoying things that just doesn't need to be there. So we could bring the knight across now to give the king company, or are we blocking our... Is there a better move? Could it swing here and attack the pawn? The bishop's protecting. I'm still comfortable with bringing the knight here, giving the king some company. That was our initial strategy. There's nothing meaty for us to attack. I mean, we can go here with the knight. Just get the rook set up on the file, if we can. But the b-pawn is going to be attacked. So we know this. Do we sort it? Oh, he's jumping in before us. Let's take the bishop. He's gone for the stealth. So we could attack the knight. Pawn's protected by the queen. Could x-ray through to the rook. I think I'm going to attack the knight. Where am I sending the knight to? Doesn't look like there's anything meaty because we'll just take. I think he's just going to bring the rook here and just double up the protection. Because he's wanting to own the file with the rooks, which is the good thing. And they're not doing that. So do we just attack the rook? Simple. It's not going to hurt my head. But his rook is just going to go behind anyway. So we're just going to go simple. And we're just going to take the rook off the board. Then we're going to bring the queen across here. Looking to see whether or not we're going to get this. The queen is chomping at the bit to get this b pawn. It's attacking the knight as well. So, oh no it's not. That's good. Alright, so if we did this, that would be a mistake. Because they would take, and if our queen takes... His queen takes and it's checkmate, but not quite because the knight can come here. But our knight is held to ransom. So we can't do that. What can we do? Yep, knight can attack the pawn. The pawn obviously is going to drop. Jump, drop the knight in here. Or do we just leave those and bring the knight here? Protecting this square. And then we can go for the rook exchange. I don't believe it's going to happen because I think their knight is going to jump back again into this spot. But we can try. Because if they don't, then we can go for the exchange. And we haven't lost out anything there. So looking at the... Well, queens are still on the ball, so it's not exactly the end game at this moment, but... We've split the pawns up, but their pawns are highly advanced up the board. So tempo-wise, they're ahead. And our king is on the other side of the board. But we're even on material. So on a plus, we split the pawns, but on a minus, they're, they're highly advanced up the board. And they're not going for it. So we're going to go for it anyway and see if it works out. Let's get to the end game, see if we can get these queens off. And let's go with this. And let's go with this. So proper end game now. Obviously, this is going to stop us from doing that. But if they don't, knight can jump here, being a bit proactive. Obviously, the pawn drops. We start trying to jump around a bit. But we don't want to get our knight trapped in the holy... I think it's probably safer. Mm, right. So we go here. The knight's already protecting. So then we go here. We start attacking this pawn. It drops maybe here. So our knight does have spaces to move. So I'm just thinking because when his king starts jumping around all over. Then he does have this pawn. Two pawns against one pawn in a sense, doesn't he? So if we attacked, he could even just push down to put the two pawns against one situation. <laughs> Let's bring the knight across here. 
obviously going to get hit because the knight's protecting oh no it's moving the king so let's get our try and get our king in the middle if we can yeah wanting to support his two against one and the attack is in have i just blocked my knight oh i have you know look at that nearly trapped it oh scandalous so now i'm having to go back 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 and i might not get it back out again oh shocking i fell asleep there didn't i there's no point doing night pushes to palm time to move the knight move the knight drops this so the knight can't put a check on the king doesn't do that just yet let's hit the king has to come across to protect the pawn does that give us some time don't need to move that fast you know it's 13 minutes so we've got to check on the king but we're not hitting anything else but we're giving them something to think about for a brief moment let's go here oh now he's going back he's lost a lot of tempo there i'm not sure if i'm doing i'm trying to get rid of this 2 one one thing but he can just push down can't he if he does push down we can come here but what's his magic knight got we're giving him a full passer actually doing that dude maybe i'll take with the knight but it's still the same thing we're giving him a oh knight's getting clever let's hit this knight i'm not seeing where it's going maybe it's coming here and it's supporting the pawn if we go there we can't go there can hit the pawn but it's just going to drop then we're hitting two pawns i don't think that's going to it's not going to happen is it but that looks nice let's do it if he does do this, we get one or the other pawn. This one or this one. We're trying to get rid of this two on one thing they've got here with these two pawns. He might just ignore it and say, well, your knight's going to be so far over there that we're going to win tempo pushing. So they might just let me take this one. It's not, he's not going to push that yet because that's not under threat. So if I take, take, we've got a two on one on that one. Brings his king back into line, maybe attacking, descending. He has moved it. Oh, he's done it too though. He's not attacked it. Yeah, spoiled it, hasn't he? Spoiled it. So do we just drop here and block this pawn then? And, you know, act as a blocker because this is like, I think that might cause us some damage. It's no guarantees, but um, it might do. There's no support on it at the minute. Knight is, what's his knight looking to do? I'm just going to block the pawn. I don't think there's any point in going there now. Attack, he pushes. I suppose if he did push, we'd take, but then his knight takes and it's all over us. I think that was the better calculation. So that type of thing, again, I have to reiterate this calculation thing because this is the cal calculation concept section. And, yep, it's trying to get used to just talking to yourself. I mean, we could push this. Does he do some funky push, push? Don't need to take. If we take again, it's like, I'm going to push. I'm going to push again but before I push again is there anything else I don't think there is really can't go there I don't think there is let's just push this for now they look like they know what they're trying to attempt to do must start running out of moves Yes, so the king's moving now. So if we did this, he does on pass on. We take with the knight. His knight takes, king takes. His pawns look a little bit meaner than mine. Hit the knight. 
So I hit the night. Say it does. Say it does. He might not take with his night though. Hmm. Tempting, tempting, tempting. That's my number one, even though I can't take it to anything because it depends on what they do. They might not take and they may just, um, but we will have two against one. I'm not seeing anything else. I mean, taking takes or takes with the pawn, whichever. I'm not too sure about any of that. Pushing takes. No, I'm not sure about that. Could push this. Do you know that might be a better one, might it? Push this with the idea of trying to hit onto this pawn here. But if we did push there, I wouldn't expect them to say, right, you're going to have it. But if they did take, we could take and we're still going to have the two on the one. Does that make sense to me? Makes sense, doesn't it? I'm going with this one. I think this one feels better in terms of giving them something to think about. That was good, but it was, I didn't really know what they were going to do in terms of their reaction. And their reaction could be positive for them. Whereas this reaction here, I don't think it's that positive for them either way. The king is so far over there. The knight is not, doesn't look like it's going to get a good position because either way we can push here. If he takes there, we're still in that same good position, I think. Calculation. The art of talking to yourself and reiterating and checking king's gone or across and that looks like i don't know if it's a normal move or what but we're gonna continue with this maybe the knight does defend but just push the pawn and then take so the knight is looking to stop it from here so we can push up to this far or do we have our own move first? Do we protect it? We'll protect it up to here. Do we push this pawn, just blocking this pawn for now? But it's nice, it's got a na magic of coming to here. Could push. It does on pass on. Then we take this time. Okay, so I think that's the next one. So the one we talked about before, pushing here. Because the knight's no longer there. And I think in this situation, I don't think they will do one pass on. I think they'll leave it locked down because essentially it might be just a draw. Whereas if they take, maybe my king's got a bit more movement towards their pawns. But I don't know. We've got plenty of time to think as well. They're on 13 minutes. I'm on 11 minutes. Calculation is key. It's just making the right calculation. Because you never know what the opponent's going to do. Look at this now. What's he doing? He's fa yeah, like I said, didn't I? Fashioning a way to come for this. So if we did do this and it did take, maybe the knight can take anyway. Don't want to get into a Zugzwang situation though. Can I... I can do the same thing to his pawn, but he's going to get to mine first. So if I went like this, then he went like that, then I went like, yeah, too late. It's too late to the party. Right, let's run this through. We go like this. He attacks the pawn. King's still close enough to defend. I'm just thinking, do I need to even bother about any of that, right? So he goes there attacking the pawn. So then we push the pawn. If he takes the pawn, he's got to check on my king. Yeah, so tempo-wise, still have to do something. So push. And he doesn't do one pass on. 
and he comes here, we come here, and what's his knight doing? Okay, I'm going for it. Let's push. Oh, he's gone for it. Now, do we take with the knight? No, we're not taking with the knight, are we? Because, although we are, sorry, aren't we? Because we want the king to be close to here because he's coming here to attack this pawn. Is this one of those though where I, don't, I still don't need to be wor worried about that? If I take, then he does come here, attacking the pawn. Then we push, excuse me, then we push. The king is no longer in check, check land. So if he takes, then we push. Then he's behind the pawn. I don't think he can get it, can he? Or oh, maybe he can. Let me do that count. One. 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 Yeah, he won't be able to get it. So I think we just take with the king. Just take with the king. And push, push, push. So that's the worst case scenario with them actually coming to attack the pawn on the back. So we haven't done a calculation as to whether he doesn't do that at all in any way, shape. So then now we have to re recalculate. So idea being potentially getting a king here because we've got a two on one on this pawn. So the knight can take the pawn off. Still concerned about this pawn being able to push past here. So they might be rethinking now and just thinking, well, just keep this knight here. Stopping this pawn from ever pushing past. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Just keeping the knight there. Hmm. Let's bring the king up then. Knight can't come and support there, but they go oh, he's going for it. Going for it. Is this king close enough? It's not, is it? We've done the counter. Oh no, that might be a wrong position. Hold on. Does he get a check on my king? Yeah, but the knight can take him. So that's okay. Yeah, so we can push. And um, yeah, he's going to be behind it, like we said. And we can get the... But, oh, he's got a check on my king. But, ah, they resign. Nice one. Calculation. Fantastic.